the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, is a country that is located in Southeast Asia, sharing one of its borders with China. Geographically, Myanmar is mainly mountain to the east and flatland to the west. Much of the land is covered in vegetation. Throughout history, many ethnic groups have migrated and settled in the area of what is now Myanmar, only to be driven out by the next wave of migrants. These people fled into the mountains of Myanmar. Because of this, modern-day Myanmar has 132 officially recognized ethnic minorities. Myanmar was created as the Pagan Empire in the 11th century when King Anarafa united Myanmar under his rule. The Pagan Empire fought with the country along its borders and invaded Siam, the country which is now known as Thailand. Then, they ran into the British East India Company which was in the process of colonizing the region. The resulting wars spanned a period of 60 years and resulted in Myanmar becoming a British colony in 1886. To attain the maximum profit they could from the colony, Britain imposed different tax regulations on different regions of Myanmar. This is an important reason for the political tension among the different ethnic minorities that still exist today. Fast forward to World War II, a leader of the Burmese nationalists named Aung San saw a chance. General Naganohara, I believe this would be a perfect chance to drive out the British. They are busy fighting the Nazis and the defense in Burma is weak. Please aid us in the creation of an army to liberate Burma. With the help of the Japanese, I have formed the Burma Independence Army. We assisted the Japanese in fighting the British and drove out the British successfully. Though so granted independence, Myanmar was very much under control of the Japanese. This led to great dissatisfaction from some nationalist groups. The Japanese troops also slaughtered the villages of some ethnic minorities majorly the Karen people. In 1945, we declared war against the Japanese in hopes of bringing true liberation upon Burma. film of Nagasaki, target for atom bomb number two, is filmed from a super fortress many miles away. Later in the year, Japan surrendered unconditionally after two nuclear bombs were dropped onto them by the United States of America. This led to the Japanese withdrawal from Burma. Very soon after, the British announced the end of empire and their withdrawal from Burma. I conducted urgent meetings and afterwards the Panalong Agreement was signed. This agreement entailed the formation of the Union of Burma controlled by its central government, Aung San and Malita. In hindsight, this agreement excluded a majority of the ethnic groups, causing their dissatisfaction. Aung San was assassinated in July 1947. By the start of 1948, many ethnic groups and other parties began launching rebellions.
My name is Ansong Tsuki. I am the daughter of Ansong. The civil war continued for more than seven years until 2011, when I led the civilian government to take control of Myanmar. We signed the National Ceasefire Agreement in 2015, an agreement between the new government and the many minor ethnicities to stop violent actions. Under this government, relative peace was brought to Myanmar for some time. We also received support from the Chinese government as part of the One Belt, One Road initiative, providing a boost to our economy. However, the civilian government was recently overthrown in a coup during 2021, and violence resumed as several insurgent groups began attacking the new government. Therefore, an official conclusion to this war has not yet been reached. Hello, I am one of the Karen people, an ethnic minority in Myanmar. As mentioned previously, there were more than 130 officially recognized ethnic minorities in Myanmar, and many of them participated for some period in the Myanmar civil war. The goal of these factions can be divided into two categories. The first category are ethnic minorities that participated in the war to defend their culture or to refuse actions taken by the government. An example of this is the Kachin minority, who formed the rebel army to combat a decision made by the government. The second category are factions who want to control or change the government system of Myanmar. These factions may not be necessarily made up of ethnic minorities. For example, the CPB, Communist Party of Burma, participated in the war with aims to bring communism to Myanmar. Taking the above information into account, we can see that it will be difficult for all the different factions to come to a consensus about form of a unified country. Therefore, peaceful negotiations would proceed slowly and with great difficulty. The solution we propose is one that requires external aid. We believe the internal conflicts of Myanmar can be ended if another powerful country publicly announces that they are going to aid one of the factions. With the aid of a powerful country, the faction can easily defeat the all others and form a central government. However, continued aid from such a country would be required to stop any uprisings. However, such a solution may also find challenges. When Aung San controlled Burma, he hoped that they were able to coexist with the ethnic minorities. The action of a forceful takeover facilitated by a third party may not be able to take all the needs of each ethnic minority into regard. Thus, such action may be considered among the international community as ethnic cleansing, a war crime. This makes countries reluctant to openly step in and take action in helping Myanmar. With all we have said above, please understand that this is a sensitive geopolitical topic that is cur still currently unresolved. Therefore, any of the solutions we have proposed above are only our own ideas and are not representative of the motives of any country or political power. War is not a joking matter, and thousands are driven from their homeland every year, forced to live in alien countries without any support. If you ever meet someone who has been affected by war in the future, we hope that you can show them compassion and support.